At Horseman, we applaud educators' dedication to teaching excellence, ensuring all students receive a quality education. We believe in helping educators find solutions to help them achieve financial success, to live better and retire happier. That's why we proudly sponsor the NEA Foundation Horseman Awards for Teaching Excellence to honor educators selected by their peers for their professional excellence and dedication to their students. Please join me in congratulating and honoring the five individuals who are this year's Horace Mann Award recipients. What I'm doing right now is the hardest I've ever worked in teaching. Exactly. And it's the best year I've had ever. Like I get to do every day the things that I think are the most important to education. And I love it. I absolutely love it. This is the Success and Innovation Center at Mount Blue High School. It's kind of Dan Ryder's dream project. A couple years ago, the opportunity presented itself to design a program that would provide multiple pathways to students for success. Becky had a vision for like a kind of a social work office. I had a vision for a maker space where kids could create and make and design. Having the combination of what he does and the combination of what I do works really well. And what we've discovered is Nobody else is quite doing what we're doing. Folks asked us, well, where's the model? Who's, like, who's doing this? And we would say, here's the model. We're, we're doing this. Oh, Not you're going right. to <laughs> dig it. So the Success and Innovation Center is a place on campus where any student, any faculty member, can come with whatever problem they're facing. Dan opens the door up to everybody. They can work on a project or they can work on an idea, and Dan tries to get the resources in that room to help them with their ideas. And I got in there and I realized he had a 3D printer. I had never been exposed to technology like that growing up in rural Maine. It's people are building things, soldering. But it really gave me a chance to um, express how creative I can be. So that's a little commentary from you on it. Okay, go for it. Since we're today we're just biasing to action to try stuff, go for it. You're gonna start doing that. A shark. A shark? It's the kind of space that we need more of in education where we're focused on the unique needs of kids as individuals, and then we look to connect them to the resources. We were super fortunate that we have a state senator who thinks this is one of the greatest things he's ever seen. I just had this great vision of this teacher who uh, kind of bounced around the boundaries. He broke the paradigms of education. That's what you need, somebody to be innovative with what's going on out there. Dan is teaching them how to use different computer programs. Maybe it's just from a design thinking standpoint, they're learning how to use technology in a different way. Design thinking is human-centered, empathy-fueled problem solving. The empathy map is a thinking exercise. It completely transformed everything I was doing in the classroom. I turned all of my teaching into an opportunity to teach kids to be problem solvers. What does he do that reveals that problem? And you're gonna find text evidence to prove it. He really encouraged trying new things, new programs. That's so good, I'm gonna tweet that out. He liked to bring in a lot of interesting technology. I would hold a nap in or social media. What would it be like if Colin had a cell phone? Dan is just an incredible individual. Just the creativity and the energy from him and the others in his troop. It's awesome! That's fantastic! It's just inspiring. This community is amazing. They support really good things. Great stuff happens in the western foothills of Maine. Well done. We just need more people to realize it. You guys knocked it out of the park. It's absolutely unbelievable, so I applaud you all.